begin tonight with the Chicago Heights bus driver sounding the alarm about bullying on a school bus. He says he raised the issue weeks ago, but nothing's been done. So why hasn't the district fixed the problem? CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is pushing for answers. Snowflakes. Catch the snowflakes. 11 year old Octavian is getting a ride home from school today. You ready? Come on. He can't distinguish between you know, playing and people being cruel to him. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to subject him to that. Octavian has autism and is completely nonverbal. So his aunt tells me she didn't know he was being bullied on the school bus until a bus driver witnessed it. That Chicago Heights bus driver also happens to be Octavian's dad. Why would they think we would care about our children? David Loudon started driving for District 170 this summer and was shocked to learn that the special needs students who attend the local school called Speed were bused in the afternoon alongside the children from Rise, a school for kids with behavioral issues. This is the district's thought to put these kids together. It makes absolutely no sense. It wasn't long before Loudon witnessed his son and other speed students being harassed and bullied on the bus. And other bus drivers said it's been an ongoing issue. But when he reported it to his supervisor and then to the district about three weeks ago, nothing changed. Bus route still the same today. So I went to District 170's superintendent for answers. Thomas Amadio said he can't disclose information about specific students, but he said he could assure me that they are currently investigating the concerns I raised. Loudon wanted to know why it doesn't appear they were investigated when he raised them. And in the meantime, Octavian's family is pulling him off the bus. I had to deal with bullying too, but I could defend myself. Right. He can't. And Loudon said other bus driver drivers have been afraid to speak out for fear of losing their jobs, so he's putting in his two weeks' notice and hoping that that sends a message. Live in the control room, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Erica? Okay, Megan, thank you.